Well, first of all, Tyler, welcome to Spend Your Town. Tell us kind of how the move came about and when Jason made first contact with you. Uh, well, I was speaking to um, one of the lads I know from my, from my old club, and uh, he said that the gaffer here was looking for a potential uh, a right back. Um, so obviously, I got his number, um, contacted him, and it's just um, gone on from there, really. And I'm here today. And what's Jason told you about the club? Do you know anything about Spending Your Town, the background of it? Uh, he's told me it's a good club, it's a fantastic club. Um, so we've got a great bunch of lads and uh, a great fan base as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to kicking on. And you started your career as a, as a right winger, um, but you converted the right back. Can you tell us how that transitioned? Yeah, well? I started as a right winger. Um, I was all from the age of six all the way up to six, 18. Um, and then I went to Fleetwood with Graham Alexander and we played um, a diamond. So in a diamond you don't play with wingers. So from then on, um, we was in a training game and I played right back because um, Conor McLaughlin at the time was on international duty. So we played a behind closed doors game between ourselves and he put me at right back and I did well. And I've just been right back ever since. And your time with Fleetwood obviously spent over 30 games playing in League One. What was that experience like to play in the Football League at that level? Uh, it's a lot, it seems like a long time ago now, but um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, it's just about playing games, really, and that's why I'm, I'm here today. And obviously your performance at Fleetwood earned you that move to, to Brighton and Hove Albion. You spent two seasons there, I think. Yeah, two seasons. Was it frustrating not to get a chance to get a crack the first team? Uh, yeah, anyway, it was. Obviously, you probably know how hard it is to try and break into a first team of a club that that big. Um, unfortunately I didn't, but I'm hoping, I'm not going to give up now, I'm still young, still ambitious and I want to try and get back to that level really and um, try and get in the first team at that level. In the past couple of, past two years, past year you spent time at Newport, Salford, Fylde. Do you think it's time now for you to kind of settle down a one club for a long amount of time? Do you think that club could be spinning up? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I just need to play games now and run the games. And I feel like speaking with the gaffer, if I do well in training, um, conduct myself well, I'll be given that opportunity and hopefully we can kick on. And what are your goals for your time in spinning your town? And has Jason spoke about your role in the squad, how he wants to utilise you? Uh, he's not spoke to me about that in such. Um, I'm sure we'll have a deeper conversation about that at a later date. Um, at the moment, he just wants to come in, um, get in with the group of lads, um, see how they train and stuff like that, and then ho hopefully we can go one better than you did last season. And finally, do you know any lads in the dressing room at the minute? Any members of the squad? Uh, I don't know. Um, I've, I've watched one of them on football icon when I was a younger lad, but apart, apart from that, no, I, I don't know. I don't know any of them. I, I mean, I travel in with Ben now, but obviously I've only just met him recently through um, a lad I know as well. So obviously we share a car school now, so 